Hey y'all, I'm back again. I'm gonna be making some sugar-free barbecue sauce made with honey. Okay, I already rinsed my wings. This is uh, made by G. Hughes Smokehouse and it's an award-winning fit pit master. He's an award-winning pit master. So give it up for G. Hughes. We're gonna try his sugar-free barbecue sauce on some wings. Um, what I'm going to do is season them. Then I'm going to deep fry them naked. And then I'm going to let them cool off and introduce some of G. Hughes' sauce. Okay, I just seen it in a grocery store. I said, hmm, let me try it. Um, it only has two carbs. So all those who have some diabetes issues or even just watching their carb count, uh, it should be a delicious barbecue sauce. But we're gonna try it and I'll give you my honest opinion on it, okay? I'm gonna light, I'm gonna season them very lightly because we want the sauce to really come through into the meat once we deep fry um, the chicken. They're a little wet, that's all we need is a little wetness, right? And then what I'm going to do is just fry them. Fry them just like this. No flour, no egg. Okay? And I will be right back. So this is a very old frying pan. It fries beautiful, so I like to use it. We're just gonna dip our chicken in there and watch it fry, okay? I'm gonna dip the chicken in there. No flour, just seasoned chicken, a little onion salt, black pepper. Something, something simple. You want to save the meat for flavor with barbecue sauce. So it's a sweet meat. So it's going to be a little barbecue sauce, but I'm going to thin it out so that it's, you know, flavor made. Because barbecue sauce can be kind of heavy and a little bit too sticky. So I'm going to make it really nice. I'm going to show you how you do it. I'm going to show you how you season up with this sauce. You want to get a doctor up the sauce every now and then. So I'm cooking my second batch of chicken. So let me flip the camera around so y'all can see. The second batch, I made it the same way as I made the first batch. Okay. Here's our second batch. Right. Frying nicely. Here's the ones that already fried. Look how golden brown they are. They look delicious. You can eat them plain like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the second batch is done. I'm going to season them. Air fry them for two to three minutes at 400 degrees. Put more sauce on them, toss them around, sit them in a colander and let them drain and cool down. And I wanna uh, take the time to tell you thank you once again for watching my video. So guys, the key to frying chicken or, well, party wings that is. The key to frying party wings is rinsing them making sure that they're clean you can rinse them in vinegar and water you can rinse them in plain water but at the end of the day you want to make sure that your chicken is clean when you rinse them off you'll see a white film the water will become like a murky type of white water and you just rinse it you keep rinsing it until the water clears um, also too I don't use a lot of seasoning when I fry chicken or even party wings because they absorb a lot of the seasoning right into the skin of them and if you do skinless, they really absorb the flavor. So you only want to use maybe a teaspoon of each seasoning. And if you have a, a, a high tolerance, no, excuse me, if you have a low tolerance to a lot of seasonings, then I will cut it down to uh, a half a teaspoon of each seasoning that you prefer to use. That's 
pretty much all you have to do. You don't want to add a lot of salt or even, I know people do Old Bay, but you don't want to use no more than like a quarter of a teaspoon of Old Bay. What tends to happen is when you use too much salt or like MSG or anything with a lot of sodium, high sodium, it tenderizes the meat. So when you go to fry it, it'll either stick to the pan in the oil or what it'll do is the meat will start to break down and you don't get that crispy um, bite that you want to get. So I wouldn't use a lot of salt or too much Creole seasoning or anything like Old Bay. If you use the Old Bay, don't put it in your flour. Put it in your egg yolk. If you use like an egg yolk or um, if you're going to use the Old Bay, just go straight to the air fryer. Don't put any egg yolk on it when you use an air fryer because it breaks down um, the flour if you batter it. And then when it dries, it's like kind of sticky but hard. So don't use egg yolk if you air fry your chicken and you want to use Old Bay. That's the best way to make Old Bay seasoned party wings is to put them in an air fryer. No, uh, you could do like a little bit of flour, maybe a quarter of a cup of flour. Very light though. Make sure you pat the meat off no egg yolk and make sure that your meat is a little is dry it has to be dry when you put it in the air fryer um, you can always spray it with a little olive oil spray or I use I prefer vegetable oil nonstick spray I usually spray mine with that if I think they're getting a little dry as I put them in the air fryer but usually you air fry them at about 400 degrees for 20 minutes you know uh, 10 on each side you also want to move your chicken around. Don't let them stay in the same spot. Move them around a little bit just so that they can breathe and get some air. The air will help it fry quicker. So as you see, these chickens are almost done. These wings are almost done. You see how they're floating? That's how you know your wings are done. But when they first float, the side that's belly up will be light. So I already flipped them. They're pretty much done. These are done. So I'm going to turn off the eye and I'm going to transfer them into this colander with the remainder of the party wings. Okay, so here I go transferring them. I added maple butter syrup and the sugar free barbecue sauce. Now I'm going to put them in the air fryer for two to three minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, so here are our wings. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce to it. Not that much. Just a little bit more. As you can see, sauce is thick. Barbecue sauce tends to be thick. So now I'm just going to... Rub it around. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm going to finish letting them cool down. So we're going to add the gorgonzola cheese to it, All right. just to give it a nice bite. And there you have it. You have fried, without bread or eggs, party wings. Hope you enjoyed it. Very good. Mm. Good time. Nice bite to them. The cheese, the gorgonzola tastes delicious with it. <laughs>